it's in your mat. Wow. I mean, pretty much ticks all the boxes. Look at that lovely, lovely resin tint. Gotta say, that, good job, good job. Lovely little uh, single wing swallow. Lots of volume up front, just fits under the arm. So it's got some width, very roll deck. It's got some nice V right from the nose all the way down. Also put in the back box so you can win, uh, surf it as a thruster or uh, just with a little uh, trailer. So I'll probably pop the MRs with the trailer in. And um, wow, just looks like a really nice board. Finishing's really good. I, uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a goer. I really do. I mean, you've got to test it, but um, just looking at it and feeling it. Looks really, really good. Also 6.0. So we've got two 6.0s in the mix. 21, 3 quarter, 2 and 3 quarter. For Kai, the Lionheart fish. Oh, Matthew. Like, oh, you make me feel good. I'm a Lionheart. I like it though. Feels good. Feels good. Where are we? I'm actually not going to say because I was probably one of the motor me. But we're in a nice place on the garden route. Two of us, no one out. Got a mat twin with a stabilizer I'm going to try out. Yeah, hopefully the wind stays off. The blue water, sunny skies. <laughs> sunny ride, you'll have to sit close to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the first session was in lefts, uh, you know, which are notoriously tricky on a twin fin at Herald's Bay. And uh, first wave took off grab railed and I'm not going to say I got barreled, but certainly it like held its line through some hollow sections. Got a couple of shampoos down the line. Then got like uh, one or two nice backhand hooks as well. So it felt really good on the backhand. And uh, then the conditions kind of washed out of it and, and it got a bit um, rippy and, and we lost the, the tide. But uh, it felt good on the backhand. So we got to test it on the backhand, which was nice. Second session was very small sandbar at Vic off the, the pier and um, I mean it was like a foot and it was really small and it was very very pup. Managed to catch waves no problem and I got a couple where I, I built some momentum down the line but um, I think it was just too small and um, I, I, I couldn't do much at all in that session so just the board was a bit small for those conditions. Looking at this board, I mean, it really looked good. Very excited. Ian was like frothing at the back when it arrived. Love the paint job. I mean, we'll show you a pick of the bottom deck, this beautiful uh, resin tint bottom. And just a lot of love went into this board. I like the little single wing, it's kind of classic sort of fish 80s, you know, early 80s kind of design. Comes with the twin, with the trailer, and that's how I've been surfing it. And I've got to say, like, it paddles pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best paddler of, of the bunch, but it, it definitely felt good. Um, I'm kind of really hoping we've got, like, sort of a day and a half left, and um, there's supposed to be some waves coming. I think, like, three to four foot here at uh, Outers or Inners, this board is going to be magic, and I'm really holding thumbs that that's going to happen and we get one more session on it because I think uh, it deserves to be surfed in some really clean running walling waves uh, and I think that's where it's going to come alive so let's see what happens.
to leave early this morning. The boys need to get back to Cape Town, but the swell popped up, so we got three more sessions in. And I surfed the mat this morning at Outer Pool. It was a bit big and wild, but the mat actually handled really well. And it was, I finally kind of got to feel the flow on that board. Really, some nice big drawn out front side turns, a couple of little hooks under the lip, and the board surfed really well. Nice sort of high performance twin slash fish, and uh, really worked well with the trailer for him. So super stoked on the mat. Good job. So, um... So yeah, a little fish with a wing. I was just thinking like, um, after the last regular guide was awesome to see all the different shapers and all the talented shapers coming through. So I was like really excited because I'm on something similar like this and really been loving it. And a few of the other guys have really been loving it. So I thought, hey, let me do, let me do Kyle for the regular guy. Let me definitely get him one of these. So what I've done on this is, still busy on the board as you can see. Um, need to be sanded still. Um, so what I've done here is obviously a little bit of a resin tint that's going to get high polished. Um, two plus one setup. Uh, so you get the keels with a small little trailer. Single concave into a nice double con concave and off the wing I've put in a, a, a V spiraling out the back. So my whole mission with this is um, I've been riding this really in, in a lot of different conditions and, and playing with it in sort of like weak conditions and it just feels like it's flying. But also up the coast when I said the last week in little point breaks, um, with a with a wing going into the tight swallow, the board keeps nicely on the on the rail. So nice volume in the middle. Um, I've rolled the rail over quite nice, so, so it bends over quite nice. Double concave starts, slab in the middle of the board. Um, that's just to keep the board nice and, 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 and driving off the rail and give it nice and lift. And then if you look at the rocker, pretty flat in the rocker. A little bit of a beak in the nose to keep the volume all the way under the chest, but nice and thin out in the tail. So still nice and nice volume on the stringer here, but nice and thin out with a little bit of whip in the tail, just to keep things loose, keep things smooth, and keep the sort of performance side of things going. You know? So, so I reckon, I reckon this is gonna this is gonna work well. Um, it's a good summer model. So yeah, let's give the guys something on uh, the regular guy to look forward to.